Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. Brothers, in John chapter 6, verses 60 through 64, which is the initial part of the gospel reading for the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time, Jesus gives extraordinary testimony himself in his Eucharistic discourse. Now, before this time, he performs a great miracle, as we all know, of feeding thousands before he speaks of himself as the bread of life. But his followers, even his core 12, were having nothing of, of this. They were having some real problems here. And so, as the gospel says, again, John chapter 6, verses, starting at verse 60. Many of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples murmured at it, said to them, Do you take offense at this? It is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Brothers, let me make a couple of points here. First, according to Augustine, the people are not receiving our Lord's words with spiritual ears. And here's what he says. The people did not perceive that it had a deep meaning or that grace went along with it, but receiving the matter in their own way and taking his words in a human sense, understood him as if he spoke of cutting of the flesh of the word into pieces. Brothers, today, even the majority of Catholics do not believe in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist, perhaps because they primarily do not transcend a human way of thinking. Yet brothers, even many who do believe in Christ's presence in the Eucharistic species still do not fathom the deeper spiritual sense of many things. In this secular age, in this age of the flesh, many men, many good men are disaffected due to a lack of prayer, of devotion, of worship, of spiritual reading, of many religious exercises. And so brothers, without a spiritual devotional life, the human mindset will dominate. Brothers, men will, in this case, what will happen is men will speak more of the failures of the church than Christ's victories. They'll point out more so what is going wrong than what is going right. They see the church as being guided by human events and people and not by the Holy Spirit. Now, brothers, secondly, without a spiritual sense, one fails to fathom the deeper teachings. Now, given Jesus' greatness that he manifested continually, this should have caused his disciples to think more deeply, to ponder upon his words more, to stretch themselves in their thinking, to consider even a deeper level of thought. But instead, as the gospel reads, the disciples murmured at it and said to them, Jesus said to them, do you take offense at this? Now, brothers, Augustine comments that God's mysteries should draw men's attentions, not enmity. But brothers, sometimes men get too comfortable in their perspectives and opinions about things, not allowing their thoughts to simmer upon deeper meanings, but instead take things at face value. Brothers, so let us take care to move in the realm of the spirit, to avoid rash human assessment. But when embarking on spiritual subjects, don't form judgments too quickly, but take the time, simmer on the deeper meanings and see what more you can find. Brothers, God be with you.